Yes, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, from wherever you are in the world. My name is Comrade Felix Chimbinu, and if you are watching this channel for the first time, welcome, and I look forward to growing with you. Yes, I was born in Zimbabwe, and I moved to South Africa when I was like five or six years old. I went to Krechia, uh, also went to primary school, and then I went to high school also, and also I've completed my university here in South Africa. I grew up in a small city, well, not, not a small city, but in the famous city called Port Elizabeth. And I grew up in a hood called Motherwell NU5. And yeah, I'm a gangster like that. Okay, maybe, maybe not. No, um, I'm, I'm not a gangster. But I grew up in the hood though, so I know a little bit of gangsterism there and there. Hopefully. Maybe. No. No. No, no, no gangster. But anyway, I speak about four different South African languages. And then uh, my mother tongue is Shona from Zimbabwe. Saka and Dinotaura Shona. Diteta is Kosa. Nikulumi Sulu. I speak English. Is English a South African language? Okay, but um, I speak a little bit of Tswana. Tada kopituri wabo. Tama tabo daman daman dading wabo. And a prat net picky Afrikaans. Yeah, like the Buddha, the Buddha Saman. <laughs> I went to school in the hood. That's where I matriculated. I matriculated in a school called Volumzi Senior Secondary School. And then I proceeded from there to graduate my national diploma in mechanical engineering from the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, of which the cool kids now call it the Nelson Mandela University. Lord. But anyways, I worked for a couple of companies as a maintenance engineer, as a project engineer, as a design engineer, and currently I'm working as an asset care planner, but that's, that's, that's not important, you know, because because who, who wants to be an employee, guys? And I also don't want to talk about my job, so... Nah, that's, that's, that's another day. I currently live in the beautiful city of Cape Town, and I must say, I've only been here for like almost two, two and a half years now, and I'm loving it, you know? The weather is great, except for winter. It's not so great. Even right now, it's cold, and I have to keep up with the, with the cold. Uh, no, but the summer so beautiful, you know when the sun sets around 8 to 9 p.m. And you're sitting there at the beach watching the beautiful sunset. Oh It's just the most amazing thing So the reason why I'm on YouTube is because I have a passion of teaching and I also like to learn new things from other people and I really really enjoy sharing ideas learning from other people using what I have learned in the practical world, you know, to like advance myself in any sphere or in any field that I find myself learning. And also personally, I want to inspire people who come from difficult, harsh and very, very intoxicated backgrounds. And I want to show them that, you know, in life, if you work hard enough and if you, if you believe in yourself, then you will have the ability to be able to take yourself further. And there's so much greatness that you can achieve within yourself if you believe in yourself and if you see yourself achieving great potential. So YouTube is the only platform that for me, I've realized that so many people are sharing information and so many people are striving and thriving on YouTube. So this platform is going to enable me to share my knowledge and also inspire those people who come from harsh backgrounds. Yes. So I'm an orphan. My father died when I was about eight years old. And then I've never seen my mom before in my entire life. Apparently, she passed away after giving birth to me. I don't know how true that is. 
And then I was fortunate enough to be adopted by a family that gave me basically everything I needed to be able to grow up as a normal kid, you know. They gave me food, shelter, clothing, and a good education. And today I am who I am because of the family that adopted me. So basically, this channel, you can take it as a way to motivate kids out there and also adults who still believe that you know without their parents or without their biological parents that nothing is possible so I want to show them that look even though you grew up without that biological parental love you can still make something good out of yourself and you can still be someone who strives and and pushes for excellence in their lives yes more than my career as an engineer i'm basically a very creative person i really don't regard myself as an engineer or anything like that no i am a very creative person and on this channel i'm gonna be sharing with you guys each and every skill that i've acquired growing up as a kid because most of the things that i know how to do today besides what i went to school for are things that i basically picked up growing up as a child so i love cooking in fact my my bread is is actually almost ready i i gotta go get it So yeah, uh, my bread is ready and uh, I was actually cooking while doing this vlog or, or baking. Is it called cooking bread or baking bread? Which one is it? But the bread was in the oven and now it's ready. And here's a short clip. I'm going in like a minimum. I feel the speed up like it's rock and roll. So with that said, I, I do love cooking, but then again, I always ask myself that is it necessary for human beings to spend literally every single day of their lives eating? I mean, you know how irritating eating is sometimes. You literally have to sit in one place for 20 minutes on end, just putting food in your mouth and chewing and swallowing, food chewing and swallowing. I mean, wouldn't the world be a better place if we had leave, you know, like two weeks leave from eating and then after two weeks you start eating again. Like every year you have two weeks off of eating, cooking, and you don't have to worry about your stomach. I feel that will be a very wonderful world. But anyways, uh, I basically started cooking when I was around 11 years old. So my dad taught me almost each and every trick that I know how to cook today. And my mom taught me like the basics and the stuff that, yeah, but my dad was my main hero. So basically that guy would wake me up at 8 a.m. every weekend and he would cook whatever meal that he had in the previous week wherever he went because he was a very busy guy and he would travel to all these provinces and stay in hotels so if he had a meal that he really liked I'm the culprit to wake up every Saturday morning and we eat that meal for breakfast and mind you I never really cooked so what I did is he would always give me a knife and all the vegetables so I'll do the chopping he would take the veggies and cook so I always like chopped everything for him and then I watched him cook but then as I grew up he got to trust me and I started cooking for the whole family and all of that so through that I learned quite a lot of skills in the cooking department or cooking field I never really went to culinary school or anything like that hence I'm a big fan of homemade meals instead of going to eat at the restaurant or anything like that so I really love making freestyle homemade meals and i never cook with the recipe unless it's something that i saw somewhere that i really want to try especially when i bake cakes and all of that so i use a recipe in that regard but i just open the fridge if i can get meat then the sides are not a problem i will sort that out 
So that's how I cook. I don't use recipes or anything like that. So in this channel, I'll be teaching you how to actually make home foods without being a, without being uh, dependent on a recipe book or anything like that. Yes. So in my varsity years, I fell in love with the hobby that a lot of people will fall in love with at some part of their life, and that is photography. So in 2015, I picked up a camera and then I started shooting and I really enjoyed it. So in this channel also, I'll be showing you guys how I got to grow in my photography journey. But then again, that journey was cut short because a year later, I bought my, my photography equipment. It was stolen and I'm only starting to get back now. So in 2019, I bought myself a camera, which is the one I'm using right now and i recently just got back into the photography industry and i must say i've learned quite some valuable information i mean even right now the video that i'm shooting i've learned everything on youtube basically watching videos on how to set up your 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 set your setup how to set up your setup can you set up your setup Basically, how to set up your equipment and how to shoot proper, proper videos and also how to shoot good pictures. So in this channel, I'll be showing you guys my journey through photography and food photography in particular. But I'm not really like an expert or anything like that. So I'm more of uh, going to show like the guys who are still starting out and we start out together. You know, we grow together, we learn together. I'm also going to be showing you some skills on Photoshop and also Lightroom. So I'm that guy who, when I'm sitting right here, I will change the color of your t-shirt or I'll change the color of your hair or I'll remove all the pimples on your face, that type of Photoshop stuff, you know, or I'll even make myself float sometimes and make people think that I'm a witch. Yeah, but anyways, so I'll be sharing with you guys that knowledge and hopefully you guys will also share some of your photography expertise with me and we grow together. Yes. So growing up, I also found myself participating more in the DIY category of field because as a kid whenever there would be a broken door or broken cupboard hinges at home I was the kid who picks up a screwdriver and go fixes that thing you know like there was always an irritating door latch at home that always came off so I'd always take match sticks and stick them in the holes and just put screwdrivers so basically for example I'll be sharing with you guys how I built the light that I'm using currently right now as my main light to shoot this and I'll be sharing with you guys a whole lot of other DIY projects in the future hopefully I'm also looking to make my own desk because I thought I want to buy a desk but then I thought hey Fifi well by the way my my friends call me Fifi and I thought hey Fifi you 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 don't need to buy a desk you can just go and buy wood and a bunch of screws and put that thing together and yeah you you will have a desk so i'll be sharing all of that with you guys how i actually make my stuff and yeah hmm. so as i said earlier um, i'm a mechanical engineer so i like to design the stuff that i make before i actually make it and for that i use engineering software and i'm also going to be giving a couple of tutorials to those people who are interested in engineering design but it won't be engineering stuff it'll just be general stuff like for example designing a table maybe designing a spoon or a bowl so I'm just gonna teach you guys basics on how to do mechanical designs I also help people build professional CVs so I call it CV upgrades from the traditional black and white pages five page cv to like a two page modern type of professional cv that is attractive and i help increase people's chances of actually getting an interview or getting noticed by recruiters so how i do that is i design different templates for them and then i put all their information on a new cv template consolidate it i shorten it out 
I make the information concise, straight to the point, and I deliver it to them. So yeah, you should also watch out for one of those uh, videos or a lot of those videos where I'll be sharing with you guys how you can actually improve your chances of getting hired and attracting more recruiters. I know, I know, you know, when you're starting a YouTube channel, you shouldn't focus on so many things and all of that. And you should only focus on one niche, on one particular group of people. But I feel like for me personally, that's kind of limiting. And probably most of the stuff that I say I'm going to be sharing with you guys are stuff that I'm going to be doing in the future when I have more time in my hands. Because I have to juggle between a job, my business, and also now doing YouTube videos and all the other stuff that I do in between. So yeah, definitely in the future when I've got more time and I've grown my channel up to a point whereby I can attract anyone that I want to attract, then I'll be introducing more and more and more content so that people can get to know the full scope of who Felix Chimbinu is. If you guys enjoyed this video and you look forward to more content from me, please do subscribe, like this video, drop your comments down below. Good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, have a great one. So, you know when you're recording videos and you make all these mistakes, yeah, it's, it's been a rough, rough, what, past hour, and yeah. And you know I'm recording on my phone, so I'm like using my phone as a as a screen to record everything that I'm recording. And it's it's difficult because now I have to look there and I have to look here and I have to like act like I'm not looking because I'm talking to you guys. But that's just the fun of making videos. Peace out. Nobody tell you you can't. Just do what you gotta do, man. Fresh. Wow.